gonna be awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So that uh, intro video was a little snippet from something I did for work a few years ago and it was my first time really extreme waterproofing and I'll throw in the rest of the video here. And if you want to see the the original video, I'll link it in in this, the description down below as well. And maybe up here in the corner, I'll throw in a, a tag. And about a year ago, I put up a video for waterproofing on my channel um, that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll clip in a section right now. This is water. This is a quad. Sounds pretty waterproof to me, but hey. I'm gonna call that waterproof. And the and I promised you that I would show you how to do the waterproofing. And my method's a little bit different than everybody else's. I use a, a three-step method and uh, we'll just jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about extreme waterproofing. And a few of the products that you've probably seen before have been this conformal silicon conformal coating and this stuff, the Corrosion X. I'll link uh, everything that I'm using in the description, I'll link, I'll link it in. And basically I use both of these and a hot glue gun or a, uh, or silicon glue actually. So what I do that's a little bit different than everybody else, I'll zoom in on this. So this stuff, this stuff is um, actually, the, the silicon conformal coating is really, really good. This stuff is, uh, it's essentially like having insulation on the whole thing. The problem with this though is if you, things like your USB connectors here, or the USB connectors, this this boot button, if you get it in, if, anyway, can you see the boot button? This is, this is a little, little button on here. If you get it inside of something that you have to function, like this button, or you have to plug something into it, it doesn't work because it actually creates a coating on top of it that you, um, that the plug won't work through. When you if you put this coating inside of here, you're not going to be able to get the plug to work. So I will take this uh, silicon conformal coating. I'll put it all over everything uh, on the flight controller, with the exception of the the boot buttons and where the USB plug or anything that has to has to move, like like this button has to function. Uh, or have something plugged into it. Uh, if, it, you know, connectors that are going to stay permanently connected, like the ones on your, uh, like the ones on your video transmitter, or if your flight controller has uh, connectors on it, it's it's fine to uh, conform, put this stuff over it, but you probably still want to use uh, this, the Corrosion X. I'll zoom out a bit. It's a giant can. Why is it such a big can? So, the this stuff... I put inside of the uh, inside of the connectors like this. Any connector, I put the corrosion X inside of it. This stuff would be fantastic if it just wasn't sticky and like I, there, I I've not found a real good way to waterproof things that doesn't leave them sticky or doesn't or or and still allows you to make connections like this and and still have the full functionality still like it's going to be sticky in here this will this will collect more dirt than normal and i'll put the corrosion x inside here and i'll put the corrosion x inside this button so any connectors or buttons we want to use the this this coating which is a spray um you can also get it in a squirt can and you can get uh, i would i would actually recommend the extreme stuff it comes in the green can uh, but so this on your connectors and this on all of your, uh, on on everything else, and 
what what I can do that most people can't do is I run the I can run the high power stuff like the so all of that's good for all the corrosion acts all this stuff is great for low power uh, devices you have to think of it as like you know wiring insulation so if you look at you know this little teeny wire that that can't carry much current the the insulation is like really like paper thin on there I mean you can't you probably can't even see it right but when I get to like if I get like a large gauge wa gauge wire the the insulation is really thick on there so this stuff that has that's that's like your ESCs that are drawing a lot more current your power distribution board that's drawing a lot more current um, you have to you have to seal those because the the current is is enough that it will arc through this coating so you want to coat your ESCs with uh, this coating and your PDB with this coating, but then you want to, uh, with the ESCs, I actually put a piece of, I'll put a strip of hot glue around, around the edge here, and I'll put a strip of hot glue around the other edge, and then when I put my heat shrink over it, and you heat it down, the hot glue actually kind of seals the, seals the heat shrink around it as well. And the reason we coat it and put hot glue in it, so we, we're trying to limit the amount of water that gets into it, and then we... We're also, like, if water does get into it, like, this stuff will prevent it from really, like, shorting anything out. Um, it may or may not work underwater once once you, uh, yeah. It may or may not work underwater still with this on it, but at least it gives it a good chance of when you pull it out that you will, that it will work once, once you dry it off and, and not short anything out. So that's how I do my extreme, extreme waterproofing. I use, uh... I use the silicone coating, I use the, the corrosion axe, and I use hot glue or a uh, silicone glue or epoxy around uh, and some shrink tube around my ESCs to keep all the water out. Hey, thanks for watching and hopefully you found this useful. Please leave your comments below. I read them all. I love them. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff.